Millions of refugees, migrants and internally displaced persons continuously live in urgent need of protection and support. The steady influx every year of refugees or migrants in the country has raised more concerns in the last year. Even the government is not able to come up with figures. What is worse is the growing violence which leaves thousands of families hopeless. This government is aware and sensitive to the fact that the current cause of internal displacement in Nigeria is the insurgency in the North East. I have directed relevant institutions of government to ensure that internally displaced persons are given due care and maintenance without any form of social exclusion as we work towards a durable solution. The federal government may be trying its best, but the steady loss of lives of desperate migrants, which has seen an increase in 2014 to 4,868 persons, calls for more efforts in member countries. It's quite challenging because it's a, a security situation, it's a situation where people are fleeing for their lives. So obviously in those kind of situations, even as you go to give assistance, you also need to be sure that the people who are going in to give assistance also don't fall victims again. Various agencies have struggled to put a figure to the number of displaced persons or migrants, but other institutions maintain that the focus should be on the youths, which are critical in the development of migration policies. We should also talk, try to see how we discourage our young people from going. Apart from not just telling them you are going to die out there in the sea, but to also create opportunities for them. You know, to, to discourage them from having to go out there to look for greener pastures. Henceforth, continued discussions on how to tackle issues and challenges of migrations are ongoing. But the federal government has been urged more importantly to employ desperate measures to help less people suffer from the after effects of this. Gloria Umezuke, Channels Television News.